Hey guys, Jared here with Deer Country Farm and Lawn. Spring is just around the corner, and one of the most common questions I get asked when spring is upon us is, do I go with a lawn and garden tractor, or do I go with a zero turn when someone is purchasing a new piece of equipment? Today, we're gonna to take a look at the basic differences between the lawn and garden tractors and the zero turns to help you and your equipment buying purchase. All right, so we're gonna go over the Lawn and Garden Tractor series first. Uh, lawn and Garden Tractors are available all the way from your small style lawn tractors up to your capable, uh, more heavy duty style garden tractors. Uh, first, before we dig into it, uh, some of the points of this machine, let's go over the anatomy of the machine, the build of the machine. Um, lawn and Garden Tractors are what we are most, most familiar with. Uh, they've been out for decades now you have your engine up front, you have your operator station right here, uh, transmission is in the rear, your steering of course is done by a normal steering wheel, everyone's more accustomed to that, uh, which will turn the front wheels, they do have four wheel steer variants which do turn the back wheels, it cuts down on your turning radius, um, and they are mostly all hydrostatic nowadays, uh, which simply means a forward and reverse pedal uh, for your forward and reverse movement of the machine. There are very few models out there. I think some other manufacturers do make some gear drive still, but the majority of all ones you find on the market will be hydrostatic. Uh, other features of lawn and garden tractors. Uh, they are rear wheel drive. Uh, some garden tractors uh, will have differential locks on them. So they will have a positive rear locking differential as well as four wheel drive options available uh, in garden tractors. Uh, so that gives you the capability to be able to handle rougher terrain. If I have customers who come in and they, they're talking to me saying that they live on the side of a mountain but they need to mow it, uh, normally garden tractors with a heavier duty transmission and the four wheel drive uh, really comes into play with that. So looking at your terrain when you're deciding uh, you know, which uh, direction to go is always kind of key point on that. If you have extreme hills, if you have rough terrain, uh, lawn tractors and garden tractors are going to be able to handle that better than something like a zero turn. So let's talk attachments of these machines. Attachments on lawn and garden tractors open up a bit more than something like a zero turn. So on a lawn and garden tractor, uh, if you are thinking for snow removal or you want to do anything along the lines of uh, any kind of ground engaging work with a blade or maybe you want to do a little bit of leveling, uh, these tractors do have the ability to have snow blades on the front as well as snow blowers. So this opens up, you know, the possibility for other attachments and other versatilities for these uh, machines themselves. Let's talk about attachments for the deck. So uh, if you're thinking, hey, I want to mow, but I also want to mulch, that's available on these tractors. If you're thinking, hey, I want to uh, mow uh, and I want to bag, bagger systems are available for these models. Uh, one advantage of uh, lawn and garden tractors is, is if you are looking at something like a larger bagger system on something like a larger garden tractor, uh, the hoppers on uh, garden tractors tend to be larger than something like a zero turn. Uh, so you get more capacity out of these machines. Going into capacity as well, uh, if you are doing anything like pulling heavier loads uh, compared to something like a zero turn, uh, a lawn and garden tractor will normally have uh, at minimum a couple hundred pounds more pulling capacity than something like a zero turn just because of the build quality of the transmissions that go into these uh, specific models. Um, that's some of the basic uh, intro parts of the lawn and garden tractors. Let's hop on a zero turn here real quick and talk about them. Let's talk about zero turns. So zero turns uh, have been on the market for a while now. Uh, they're definitely more recent than something like lawn and garden tractors. Uh, but really, let's go over the anatomy of these machines and, and how they're designed compared to something like a lawn and garden tractor. So zero turns, uh, as you see here, uh, can come from your small models all the way up to your more capable, almost commercial style models. Uh, as of the anatomy of the machine itself, uh, you normally have just an open platform up front. Some models do have their deck extended out further in the front. Uh, your deck's usually in the middle of the machine right here. 
Your operator station is right here. Your engine and transmissions are in the back of the machine. So unlike a lawn and garden style tractor where you have the engine up front and the transmissions in the rear, uh, everything in a zero turn style, at least this style right here, is housed in the rear of the machine. So uh, one thing I will say about these machines is they can be a little rear heavy. Um, as of your steering, uh, on a lawn and garden tractor, we went over that, it's a normal steering wheel style that moves those front wheels. Uh, the front wheels on a zero turn are like grocery cart wheels. They're just caster wheels. They just allow you to spin around. All your drive and your traction uh, is done by your rear wheels right here. How that's done instead of a steering wheel is you do have two hydrostatic control levers here. And yes, I did say two because you do have two transmissions on these machines. Uh, you do have one transmission uh, that is controlled by one handle which then controls one wheel. So effectively allowing you to get that zero turn effect uh, by stopping one wheel or backing up one wheel while moving another wheel forward. Uh, controls are pretty basic. Like I said, on a hydrostatic transmission on a garden tractor, you have that pedal to push down for your forward and reverse. You are gonna be using two handles or two hydro handles for that on a zero turn. So the learning curve can be a little bit more uh, than something like a garden tractor. So if you have multiple users using it, uh, kids using it, uh, you know, people who are, don't feel comfortable with it, it's definitely worthwhile to try it out uh, at a dealer before you go ahead and just spend the money to buy one. Um, it can, like I said, be a learning curve um, on, on these specific models right here. So uh, versatility for zero turns. Uh, when it comes to any types of attachments, you're interested in something like a front blower or a front blade uh, you're not going to have that on this. Uh, the ability to mulch and the ability to bag, you will have. Uh, as we spoke about on the garden tractors there, the capacity of the hoppers can be smaller though compared to something like a lawn and garden tractor just because of the design of the machine itself. Uh, you start adding too much weight, you can add weight to the front. Each bagger system usually has weights that you put on the front, uh, but the fronts can get light, which does not help on any type of uneven terrain. Uh, speaking of terrain, another area that zero turns don't necessarily excel at uh, is if you have that very rough, very steep style terrain. So if you are that person that lives on that mountainside like we were talking about on the garden tractors, zero turns are not necessarily the best pick for you. Uh, reason being is because like I said, all your traction and your drive is done by your rear tires. Uh, your front tires don't do nothing. Uh, if you were going up too steep of a hill, the front end can get light or if you are going side by side on a steeper hill and you tend to break traction on those hills, uh, gravity is gonna take you wherever, wherever it wants you to go. You'll essentially start sliding down hills. Um, I've experienced myself and it can be kind of uneasy. Now there are commercial operators out there. I do see uh, they'll zip around and do some hills and stuff. Uh, do these machines handle hills? To a certain degree. Uh, but it always comes down to a question of, you know, can you or should you? And on a zero turn, when it comes to uh, rollover, they are more prone than lawn and garden tractors, henceforth the roll bars that you see on some of your larger models. Uh, normally, it's just not worth the risk to take these on hills. Um, zero turns, really, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, as you're going through your equipment uh, purchase and, and thought process on this, they're really designed for people who, you know, you want to hop on, you want to mow, you want to get done real fast. You can get speeds on commercial units of up to 12 miles an hour. Uh, lawn and garden tractors, you can't get up there to that eight mile an hour range, but zero turns are really kind of designed to kind of zip back and forth. Also, if you have a lot of obstacles in the way and you need to get around trees, uh, it's very handy once you become familiar with the operation of the machine to be able to do something like that. Um, so like I said, customers who are looking to get on, mow, get done fast, uh, the ability to mulch, the ability to bag, uh, and you don't have extreme terrain, uh, zero turns are usually, you know, a good bet if that's what you want to do. If you're looking for more versatility, uh, that's when you should turn your direction a little bit more towards the lawn and garden style tractors. Okay, so we've discussed some of the differences here between the lawn and garden series tractors and the zero turns. Some of the basic information, there's always, of course, more that you can talk about with these machines. Uh, always recommended to visit your local deer dealer uh, or your local equipment dealer in order to talk to a professional salesman to fill you in uh, on some additional details on that. But 
Hopefully this basic information gives you a good quick overview of, hey, should I be looking more towards a lawn and garden tractor or hey, you know, zero turn kind of fits my needs and I think that's the direction that I wanna go. So um, hope you uh, found this video helpful. Hope you like the information that we provided here. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be putting out more videos here at Deer Country Farm and Lawn.